Hi everybody, welcome back to my Wednesday video blog. By the way, I want to thank you for following these video blogs every week. I've been getting a lot of feedback, very positive feedback, about how you are enjoying my videos. And I'm very grateful and that's my motivation to keep sharing messages of happiness, health and love. So let's take a start talk about stress, a topic that I'm very intrigued by. I read about it, I research about it, and I talk about it, as you can tell. So I want to talk today about the silent stressors. You know about the obvious and clear stressors that you have in your life. Money, jobs, kids, relationships, weather, whatever, whatever stress you have right now in your life. Those stress I call the ones that you can touch it, you can feel it, you know they are affecting your peace of mind. But what about those stressors that are underlined that you experience some kind of disharmony, lack of peace, but you don't really know where that's coming from. So I'm going to help you here maybe to address some of those silent stressors. So if you read any self-help book these days or you listen to a motivational speaker, a life coach, you're going to hear four words a lot. At least three of them, I guarantee you, you hear a lot. Authenticity, transparency, congruence, and alignment. You hear like you want to be in alignment with your vision or you want your words to be congruent with your thoughts. You want to be transparent. You hear those words a lot. I summarize those four words in two words, really one. Truth. Your truth. What is your truth? And the way I define that is by de describing three aspects of your life. What are your core values, your beliefs, and your vision for your life? If you can define these three things, even in a general uh, state, that is your truth, your truth today, not your truth of 10 years ago, or your truth that was not really yours, was like your mom or your dad or your school, the system you were living under. I encourage you, if you don't have these three things clear, to spend some time and define them because we change. A belief that I had a year ago, I don't have today anymore. A way that I did things 10 years ago are completely different from the ways of things I do today. And that's the beauty of getting older, getting wiser, the beauty of evolving. So I invite you to spend some time here. And then I want you to look at you today. How are you showing up? Your thoughts, your actions, your words towards other people. Do a, a, a review. Spend some time there. Then I want you to take the um, that page that you wrote down or you have in your mind what your core beliefs, your core values and your vision are and compare to how you're doing today. And then see if there is any gap. How you're showing up versus how you want to show up. The bigger this gap in between these two areas, the more stress you'll be experiencing and you'll be emotional, mental, physical and spiritual stress. They all connected. Those are our four sources of energy. We cannot separate them. So again, you might be experiencing some kind of a lack of peace of mind or you might be feeling like, you know, something's bothering you don't know what it is. So if you're there, I really invite you to review these three aspects here. And even when you have those things dialed, I invite you to review them weekly. So for instance, every Sunday, or one day of the week, I sit down in my favorite coffee shop with my journal and I review where I am with my thoughts, my actions, and my words to make sure I'm in alignment with my vision, my core values, and my beliefs. Because I don't want this gap, and sometimes this gap shows up. Life gets busy, things get out of hand sometimes, and the gap starts to get a little bit too big. And anytime I'm experiencing discomfort, I know I'm creating a gap. So I sit down, and I address what that's coming from and I resolve. So what's the solution if you're experiencing any of this discomfort I described? 
Spend some time with yourself. Spend some time just here. Writing down, journaling, contemplating. Spend some time in introspection, even meditating. If you don't even know what these things are, spend some time developing a deep relationship with yourself. And I guarantee this gap here will disappear and you experience more joy, more health, and more happiness in your life. Those are the tips for today. I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great day.